Como é que põe? Greetings, young coders. Welcome to the continuation of your training. Resist the dark side. Put away your modern games. Space Invaders is where it's at. Welcome back guys. In this tutorial we're going to add spaceship to the canvas and movement to the left and to the right and the game look. So let's look at the game right now. So here we have it. We have wonderful space background and if we can move to the left we have the feature of the ship does not go over the edge of the screen and if we go to the right we can see our ship also stops for the edge of the screen. Now that's some pretty decent code to do that. Let's jump in. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the player class. Now this player actually has a contract that implements an interface called iGameObject. We'll go into that in a bit later. We have some properties like we have positions, we have dimensions and we have movement vectors. The way the game works is every object has a vector and in the update loop, the position of that object is updated accordingly, depending on the amount of time that has elapsed. We have a draw method that basically draws whatever we want this game object to look like. In this case, we're just drawing a rectangle. We have an update method, which updates the position based on the current position and the movement vector and the elapsed time. We also have a clamp method, which is preventing the ship going off the edge of the screen. Nobody likes chips going off the edge of the screen. And we also have a few other methods that we'll use in later tutorials. Now, concerning this interface, this is the iGame object. So, the interface basically means anything that implements this has to implement these methods. So, if we go into this method, this class here, remove this method, then we have an error saying method draw from interface is not implemented. So, you get the point. We have some util classes for some of these custom classes. Uh, this public width number is basically saving us a bit of time. So instead of having uh, width number and then in here, it's having to set that property like this equals. That's the same thing as it was before. So I just like it like that. That's a TypeScript feature. Now, the game loop is actually really simple. The browser has this method called request animation frame, which says basically, you browser tell me when you want to render this. And it's, it's nice, nice and smooth. And so every time an animation frame is requested, we call this update and draw methods in the game. Okay, what else in the app? Okay, we also have, we're including then our first CSS file. So this require here is basically telling Webpack to import this CSS file in the final build. Now let's jump into the app, sorry, the game. So in the game, we have a player object and we have some various other imports. We have a reference to the canvas that we showed you last in last video. The nice thing about TypeScript is that we can have a typed canvas so that we're actually saying this canvas is an HTML canvas element and then we can use the TypeScript to, to give us code completion on methods in canvas. If a key down and key up is pressed then we have uh, methods in the game that will basically remember what's pressed. So in our update method we record the start time and the a time between this frame and the last frame and we use we pass this into the update method these are our events that basically check to see what keys are pressed oh here's our interesting CSS file we have this here oh we have a common file so a common file is a bunch of boring stuff but handy so now this Stage, we actually build it to see if it works. So we're going to open up a terminal. We're going to type what we're going to type webpack. There we 
we have it. So we have our build directory. And we're going to see, we're going to inspect the uh, app here. So we're going to see the usual riffraff of Webpack stuff here. And then we're seeing our own code now. So we all this code here is coming from our source directory. So you can see it all in here. It's all been bundled very nicely. And we're going to just always just import this file from the index file here. And we can also see that our CSS is bundled as well. So now we're going to open up this file that we've compiled to see if it worked. Come on! It's good. It's good. That's it. That's all there is to it. That's a lot of code. I suggest you go away, look at this code, try and run it yourself. Look at Try to understand everything as much as you can. Because we're going to start getting a lot more complicated when we're adding shooting and baddies flying around and stuff like that. Bye.